Dragon Ball Super manga hate is at an all-time high, and I don't think it's gonna go down anytime soon. We presumably have maybe two, three months left until this arc is finally over. Everybody's just asking, is there going to be any new content? Is there anything new that we can expect from Dragon Ball Super at this point? And the brand new leaks that just came out for the newest chapter give us some light as to which direction they're going and what they're choosing to add as something new for you and me, the fans that have already seen the movie. So the new leaks show Piccolo and the henchmen going to pick up Pan, kidnapping her and trying to get Gohan to come to the Red Ribbon Army to finish him off first. Which I think it's a really cool similarity that the manga and the movie choose to focus on Gohan first. Of course, this movie and this manga is all focused on Gohan, but the Red Ribbon Army and their machines were the ones that were trying to kill Gohan in the future arc, so I just find that to be a really cool similarity. So everything kind of goes business as usual. Pan knocks this big dude out. She can sense Piccolo's energy, like her key, her energy, her focus. Everything is like at such a high level that I'm actually really curious as to how strong she is as of Dragon Ball Super Superhero, and I may make a video talking about her power level very soon. Piccolo explains to the teacher that they are doing this all for her training and then because Pan is Mr. Satan's granddaughter the cops let her go off easy when it comes to the illegal parking situation that they have here in the city which is a level of corruption that I don't know we see from the Mr. Satan family and everybody kind of has a bias towards them which makes sense they are the heroes of the earth but at the same time it is really interesting to see this point of view and this is really the only new page that we get from this leak it's just the cop talking to to Piccolo about the illegal parking that's essentially it but I found something else and after re-watching the superhero movie, at least this scene for the superhero movie, there is an added element of tension that really wasn't too focused on in the movie. It's more focused on here. I got it right after reading these pages. Maybe you guys will get it after I show you guys the rest of them. Piccolo explains to Pan that they are going undercover. He decided to go undercover with the Red Ribbon Army. They're really bad guys. They wanted to kidnap Pan. So he decided to kidnap Pan that way, you know, Pan is essentially safe under Piccolo and so he says just pretend to be scared get these handcuffs on and don't worry I'll take care of you and Gohan will come to save you because that's the whole point they want Gohan to come now in the movie this was all focused on getting Gohan to that next transformation or at least get him back into fighting get him back into fighting shape that's essentially the focus of the movie it's like go on get off your ass and go train but in this the added element especially what Pan says right here that Oh, what if he doesn't come? He's been really busy. Then Piccolo says, I'm going to beat him within an inch of his life. That focus right there shows that Pan has been, even as a kid, has had an estranged relationship with Gohan because of his work. She hasn't had any time with him. And so the added element of will he even come? Will he even care? Will he even come save her? Is something that I didn't really expect as to be as heavily prominent here. I mean, it is kind of in the movie, but it's more focused on here. So the relationship between Pan and Gohan is a focus. And I actually like that small little change in the in the tension and the aura of the scene where Piccolo's like, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna whoop his ass. And again, these scenes are in the movie. The only page that wasn't was the cop one, but the focus, the way that it's written, the way that it's, it's even focused on with the panels, it is way more focused on here when it comes to their relationship than it was in the movie. And the movie was like, oh, Gohan's gonna come and save the day. Hopefully he gets back into training and this, hopefully he comes saves his daughter because if he doesn't, I mean, him and Piccolo are not gonna be on good terms and neither are him and Pan. But let me know in the comments below what you guys think. The new chapter comes out soon. Let's go ahead and see if this one adds more new pages than the last one. Subscribe for more content.